Another one. Yeah. All right. Woo. There we go. He doesn't want to be in with the other guy. Look at that. Full pot of fish. And a bunch more. I'm Justin Van Ferrari, and this is my good friend and fellow adventurer, Tyler Troyer. We're going to be out in the wilds of northern Ontario trying to survive and catch and cook our own food. We'll be traveling over 80 miles down the Anakawana River into the Abitibi and Moose Rivers and out to James Bay. Join us on our adventure and see if we make it out alive. I am right now. Hey, good morning. It's day three. I am just getting up and about. Tyler here is, uh, there he is. Tyler's still cashed out. He's rustling around a little bit, but. All right, get out, get breakfast. Maybe try and do a little fishing before uh, before we pack up camp. Oh man, the river came up quite a bit again, and once again, Tyler's <laughs> Tyler's kayak is just barely out of the water so man that guy must know something I don't know about water levels it's that intuition man the intuition you good at just the bare minimum yeah you got a feeling it's only you walk so high all right nice beautiful slightly rainy day All right, empty water and fill water. All right, I figured I wouldn't uh, film me emptying my water. I'll film getting water. Well, it's crazy that dam upstream causes the river level to fluctuate so much. I don't think we're getting down low enough where the where the tides have any impact yet. Good news is where the tent is is still dry, where the fire is is still dry. But man, as you can tell, the river has really come up. There used to be another sandbar out there. This used to go on for quite a quite a ways. In fact, you can still see in the water some places where we drug the kayaks. Right down there. All the way out. That was all beach.
down the beach. He thinks he can catch me, so. I feel like my kayak is sitting lower than it normally does. But that wouldn't make any sense. I have I have no extra weight. Maybe it's just me today. What a beautiful day. The sun was poking out a little bit. It's gone back under the clouds. What a beautiful day. All right, adios, unnamed island. Thank you for a good night's rest. Man, I cashed out early. I started uh, downloading some of my footage onto a hard drive, and I didn't even do the evening wrap up. It was, uh, it literally, literally was just like, holy cow. I woke up a couple times in the middle of the night, but Just enough to un unplug my thing and and then load it from the hard drive onto the laptop because that uh, that takes takes a little while to transfer media like that. So do that while I'm sleeping. I don't have to do it in the middle of the day when I want to be filming. All right, get the anchor. All right. I need to get tangled up. If I, if I flip my kayak, I'm going to get tangled on the anchor, <laughs> which is not the ideal way to go. I don't think. I suspect that would not be my favorite way to go. All right, this hula popper is... Uh, not my best idea. I don't think. Did not appear to be very effective last night. All right. What? What to fish with? How about just a standard old jig? I'm gonna try a different color. Uh, let's see. How about a green, green head with a green body? Green head with the red eyes and a green body. I'd eat that guy, wouldn't you? Throw a worm on there. That'll be the most irresistible thing I can think of. Oh, come on. All right, time to paddle in some deeper water. How deep is it right here? Yeah, like three feet. Two, two and a half.
right, there's a bear walking up. It's ways out. I don't think you'll be able to see it. But I'm going to turn the camera on and see if I can get up there by it. See if it notices me. Hey bear. Hey, come here. Well, that was the most excitement I've seen in a couple days. That was awesome. He's still up in there. Just combing the beach, looking for something. He uh, he was in here looking for berries and stuff. That was pretty awesome. It took him a while to see me. That is pretty cool. I think I got you a good shot. Oh, there we go. This is living the life. You know, when you float out in the middle of the river, you miss all the wildlife. When you uh, when you go right up next to it, you see all sorts of chipmunks scurrying, other little rodents, and bigger bear and things. Hey, Tyler. Yeah. I saw a bear. I uh, got it on camera. Really? Yeah, real close. You were super close. Yeah. I, no, it was a decent sized male. I mean, I don't think females get as big as this one was. All right, so Tyler is a ways back there. Um, I'm not sure. I saw him get out his fishing pole and go on the other side of an island, so he may be a while. Thought I'd pull off in this spot where you could, you could see from either side of the island. I'm not sure which way he's gonna be coming through, but uh, nature called, and so I went up into the woods and did my duty. Number two, by the way. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna chill out here on the beach. I'll wait for Tyler to come on by. And we got a stretch of, uh, I don't know, just uh, class one rapids. But, yeah, it should be fun. We'll see, maybe they get a little more intense the further down you go. That'd be sweet, I, I'm up for, uh, I'm up for a slight change of pace of this trip right now and uh fished a little bit no luck this morning but uh tyler said he read better fishing down at the mouth of the river kind of where it connects to the moose river which uh should be good so not gonna dink around too much here we want to make our way down so we can spend a lot of time fishing down where it's good fishing hopefully <laughs> all right peace out Mm. 
just spotted Tyler out there. Zoomed in all the way. I don't know if you can make him out in the middle of the screen there or not. I don't think he's coming over here. Oh my word, there's an airplane. Ah. That was pretty awesome. Holy cow, that was that was crazy. They flew literally right over Tyler's head. That had to have been absolutely insane. Wow. I I heard a rumble off in the distance and I thought, can you really hear the train from here? I mean it's 117, it's a little bit late from uh, you know the scheduled time that it would go across the Moose Moose River bridge there. <laughs> Holy cow, that thing was so low. That was pretty cool. Captured on camera. All right, Tyler's ahead of me officially. Heading through the rapids over on the other side of the river, so I better get at it. Like my sexy suspenders. All righty. Oh, Tyler's a cruising. Where'd that guy go? What is it about waves that just draw you in? Steer clear of the big waves. I always want to go as close as I can. Well, that was fairly uneventful. I'm sure there'll be more more rapids worth documenting further downstream. But in the meantime, it's time to make up a little ground. Alright guys, it's getting a little hot. Sexy's coming back. As if my cockpit was not full enough. Let's just add some more clothing items back in there. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. So I blur these out. All right. All right, I'm approaching some rapids. Tyler went around to the left. I'm gonna see if I regret this. I see lots of rocks. Oh man, do not have my spray skirt on. too wet. Wet enough. Oh! 
Yeah. A little more wet. That was moving. <laughs> yeah. A wet butt. That was worth it. This boat does not take very much to get wet. Guarantee I'm moving faster than Tyler is. mouth of the Abitibi River. You like that? I set it right this time. And uh, just a little bit ago, there was a rain cloud that passed by. I don't know if I just splashed myself or I actually felt a few more drops. But uh, now it's blue sky and there's a rainbow very faint rainbow there was just more of a rainbow about 30 seconds ago that rainbow is actually a biblical sign that God would never send a flood to cover the entire earth again and of a sign of peace and in this particular adventure it's a sign of the calm before the storm as soon as we round this bend here, it's where the Abitibi River meets the Big Moose River. And there are a set of rapids that are class three, um, two to three, depending on the conditions. The river is fairly high. At this, I mean, it's not uh, extraordinarily high, but for this time of year, it's decently high. So I'm suspecting that we'll move pretty quickly. Tyler is way back there. And uh, I just want to get up here. It's gonna take me a little preparation to get ready for the rapids. I gotta pee again. And uh, I got to put my dress, my skirt back on. I'm excited. Just beyond the rapids, we're going to hook up to a spot where last year we caught a ton of perch and uh, northerns. So we're hoping that we didn't catch them all last year. Hoping that there's uh, plenty more to be had this year. I can hear a faint rumble off in the distance. So the rapids will be coming up here before we know it. And I believe this island is Allen Island. It's just before the Allen Rapids. It's either this one or maybe there's uh, the next one up there. Ah, yeah. Oh man. Oh yeah. Definitely see a little more white water ahead. Looks like we'll be fine going to the left. Here we go. Starting to get into the rapids.
Holy smokes! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! We got it! <laughs> we only got half a boat of water! Yeah. <laughs> Look at this! Holy cow! I don't know if I took on water somewhere. <laughs> I literally took on water. I don't think you stopped bailing? You think? Must be something's plugged. I'm going to have to go to the island and step on the left. Alright. Holy cow, that was that was pretty insane. That was pretty intense. <laughs> I'm like, there better not be a huge rock on the other side of these waves. That would have been catastrophic. But the way it was crashing was, uh, you could tell it wasn't going over a rock. It was just, uh, I don't know. Oh man. Well, I got a good washing on the solar panel. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe now it'll uh, absorb more sunlight. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty good. Hey, thanks for taking the ride with me. I filmed the whole time. That was awesome. I am definitely glad I put the spray skirt on. When oh, we started going over that little, the little so... rapids, <laughs> I'm like, well... I know, well, I that's thought it was all... going to be absolutely yeah. nothing. <laughs> I mean, those were some big waves at the end. Yeah, they were. They completely washed over my bow. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, hey, we're bailing. We're still sailing a little bit. Just takes a second. Yeah. It's going to try and pull us way over to the right, or left, which we might want to. This looks pretty shallow here. I'm going all the way over to the left. Yeah, you're trying to fight against it. You got to just let it take you. Yeah, I see why these have a name. I'm not sure Ginger would have really appreciated those. And I'm not sure I would have had a kayak to get through those with her. There we go. You want to pull up over here or no? Uh, actually, the, the kayak bailed out. Okay. So I had to put that camera away. Yeah. All your last video would have been pretty sweet. It would have been an awesome last video. <laughs> hey guys, we found Alan's house. Alan's house is... Uh, just beyond the Allen Rapids. His house looks like ours. Only partially done. This right here is a pretty sweet shot. With the sunlight coming through the trees. This is a money shot right here. If I can keep the horizon lines centered.
actually boat up every day. Although their boat is not in the water except on shore, which tells me that they're coming. All right, as you can tell, we got in a little late because we went all the way around Baby Island, which is not so baby, it's more like gargantuan. Anyway, I uh, did some fishing, got a few nibbles. Tyler caught onto a pike, but it got away right at the boat. So already feeling a little bit more hopeful, a little bit more promising, and uh, if these mosquitoes are any indication of how many fish there are in this river, then we're in luck tomorrow. So, yeah, setting up in the dark. All right. Man, that moon is absolutely beautiful. Let's uh, check this out. I just got a notification. Yeah. I must have service. I saw a cell tower. Oh, did you? Yeah. You smell that? Wow, that smells good. It smells like we're cooking steak in there. Yeah. It's like fajitas, but there's just no. <laughs> <laughs> no beef. All right, so I didn't film today me eating ramen noodles or Tyler's quinoa specialty, but you guys have eaten ramen noodles before. You've seen someone eat ramen noodles, so figured I wouldn't bore you with the details. But that moon is still pretty spectacular back there. We packed up. I anchored my kayak just in case. Who knows what the water's going to do, whether or not it's going to fluctuate. So, yeah, we're going to head to bed, I think. It's about that time. Good night. See you in the morning. Don't forget if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, like, and uh, hit the notification bell and you'll know when I'm going to release the next video. Catch you on the next one. Have a good one.